Hello. Hello. We're back. We hit another Japan video. This time it's about the cosplay studio experience that we had in Osaka. Hako. Hako, Hako Stadium. Hako Stadium Cosset. That's what it was called. That was a very nice studio. <laughs> yes. So we will give you the full experience. How we booked. How we went. What happened there. So let's get started. On the list, this is what you see when you <laughs> first get there. Do not talk in the changing rooms. Yeah, quiet. So, how we booked? We went to their website, we completed the form, we paid the money, and we got our booking uh, posts, let's say, for a specific hour. I mean, you have to tell them how much uh, in the hours you will shoot, I think. Uh, if I remember well, they will got the 5 hour package. There is also a whole day package. I don't remember if there is less than 5 hours. So we went there. There we had the only like problem in our trip. Because we go there all happy. Eva with your suitcase with a sucrose and <laughs> me with my camera and stuff. And we go to the um, clerk. We give them the, our numbers etc. And, and they tell us, fill this form. Okay, just other form, name, passport, blah, 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 blah. And there is one field that is address in Japan. We fill in the hotel address. She takes the forms. She says, no hotel accepted. But we're tourists. We only have hotel address. No, we need a permanent Japan residence. But we don't have. Then she talks with the other clerk and they, there was two girls and the cashier. Okay, fill in your permanent residence in Greece. And we do. They get the paper and then they tell us, prove this is your residence in Greece. And then we say, how the hell are we supposed to prove it? They say, we don't know. So I take my mobile phone, I find my emails, I find an uh, electricity company bill, and we show it to her. It's in Greek. Okay, she looks at it, says, okay. I don't know, does she know Greek? <laughs> I guess not. I don't know really why, why we had to go through all this very, very bad experience only to shoot like five hours as tourists. I don't know, is it like we don't want tourists to shoot? Anyway, so after this small intro on what you can expect from difficulties, let's go to the fun stuff with Eva. So we will start from the beginning, go. Yeah, the first thing that you see is like um, after after you pay for how long you're gonna stay there, you're gonna see uh, what you need uh, in order to do your shootings. For example, you might need a new another camera, another light, uh, or here maybe it is. yeah, yeah you can rent all this. You stuff. can rent all that, all that. Yes, everything. So let me because I'm the photographer. Yes, this is a ring light. This is a softbox for easier light. This is another softbox. This is a source for LED light. You can also rent LED lights. This is um, for your... Uh, the colors uh, that you put on the... For your flash yes. lights, your uh, various colors. This is for your lens. So this is a, a portable LED light, a small one. This is a tripod. This is a ring light with tripod. So very, very reasonable prices. Yeah. Very reasonable for five hours. Um, 700 yen. I mean, yeah, five euros, something like that. Fine. For the whole day, six euros. I mean, this is so affordable in Greece. In order to rent this for a day, it costs <laughs> much, much more. Like ten Much more. more. Also for your flashlight, yeah. plastic softbox. But yeah, extremely affordable prices. I was very happy as a photographer for that. So, as Eva said, after you do all that, you go to the changing rooms. The okay, cha tell us about the changing rooms. Yeah, please. the changing rooms now. I loved those changing rooms. I was. Yeah, <laughs> you were banned from there because you are a guy. Yeah, it was very funny. I was trying to follow her inside. I mean, no, 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 as no, no, usual no. to help her. And yeah, she was like, no, what are you doing? Yeah, which is reasonable, but yeah, it took mm. us by surprise a bit because yeah, as Greeks, yeah, yeah. we just go everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it happens. It, it, this is a cultural problem. Uh, so yeah, 
So I went there, there were mirrors everywhere and there were lockers everywhere. You find your locker, you put your stuff, you change. Mm -hmm. And then there is other stuff like they provide you with a few things to style your wig because if you have it inside your suitcase, mm. it might be a bit messy. Like so it had you, combs and stuff. They had combs, they had uh, press, uh, heat, the heat, the heat uh, press Okay. Over here. And they had a this few... This thing that you... The curl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the heat curler. Mm -hmm. the heat. They also had scissors or uh, some m small mending kits you could take. for Like if you have a hole in your costume, for example, you could just mend it really quickly. Uh, they had the, that stuff, which is not much, but it's not little. It's very good because in the last moment you might have difficulties. You might realize that your costume has some holes or it ripped somewhere or whatever. You can fix that. It's very good. I, I love that. And uh, they also had some kind of like glue, hot glue. They had a few things that really helps, really helps. I, I really love that. Mm -hmm. It's something that is very cheap for some for a person. It, it's cheap for a facility to have. Yeah, it shows that they care and they have, you know, pre they predict the needs of their customers. Yes. That's good. Ah, you can also buy lenses there. Oh. I think. Oh, yeah, I think, I think this a is... One day lens. Ooh, that's nice. I did not see that. I did not realize you could just buy or, them. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is an advertisement or if you could buy it. I think it's an ad, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I wouldn't put it beyond them to be able to... To have that. Okay, yeah. this is the card that shows what you rented, I guess. I also see shoes here. Costumes. Cables. They even have costumes. Okay. Um, I mean, why not? And uh, they also have some events mm -hmm. that they have there, like meetups. You meet uh, from a certain, uh, from a certain fandom. Or, yeah, fandom. From a certain fandom. That all the cosplayers from a certain fandom will meet up and use. Um, I think it's, it's they, in order. It's some kind of event. I think they take group photos together because yeah. normally group photos are not allowed in this studio. Yeah. Yeah, they're only allowed on these days. Yeah. Then we got after all those stuff, we see okay. the mini studios. So, let me speak a bit as a photographer first. They have lights. Usually they're adjustable by the switch, not always, but usually. In some rooms they're just on-off. In some other rooms you can also adjust the volume or the color. Here they had a remote, you can adjust the colors of the even and the odd bars, let's say. So now Eva will get us through all the... Just tell me when you want me to change the photo. Yeah, so this uh, the first one is uh, very nice for almost every cosplay because you just you can just use the light. You just use the light, you can have a very nice bokeh with lights and mm -hmm. stuff. It, it's very cute. Uh, as you can see, yes, this is another uh, In place. the corner. In the corner. It's different. I don't know the sound, this, the is, whole, this is the Medusa chair room. Yeah, all the, the whole uh, three floors, three or four floors. Three floors. Three, three floors. floors of rooms. All of the floors, three floors were like this. They had small corners or small rooms. Or rooms within rooms. Rooms within rooms that were different uh, studios. And it's amazing because for every costume, from every, for, from every fandom, you can find your background. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. But, but what kind of cosplay do you need? Uh, chairs. I mean, if, it, if there were no chairs, you could do some underwater maybe with jellyfish. But this is uh, something like an aesthetic. <laughs> this is Eva here. <laughs> I'm just ah, she's showing the remote that you change the colors. Yeah, yeah. And full instructions everywhere. Very useful yes. for the photographers and the cosplayers. Oh, and as a photographer, sorry I'm interrupting Eva, but I will talk a bit about this. This is great. This is lighting instructions for great portraits. In particular? Yeah, in particular they show you a portrait that they liked. And how it was taken. So it says the photographer was located here. They had a green light here, a red light here, the green light here. These are normal LED light. This is projector light, I suppose. And if you don't know about photography and you're just taking photos, because we saw that there were not always photographers. Some some rooms there were just 
cosplayers taking photos of each other, like it's happening in Greece too these days. Or they have their friends. So people who are not photographers or who have not studied photography at all. So this is extremely useful. Yeah, you want this? Just do this. And I think they so. also said how to set your camera, the settings of the yes, lens. Yes, yes, we'll, we'll see this later. Yes. Well, okay, this is other this colors. Is, these are all, uh, different colors mm-hmm. of uh, this studio. So this third. Simple studio. Yeah. They also have this. You simple want gray. something simple. Yeah. You don't want anything other than a background. Mm. They have this too. They also had the one in white, mm-hmm. if I remember correctly. In white, yeah. Gray yes. and white only. Uh, but and they you can do great black if you just uh, yes. understep. Fourth one. The classroom. This is the set that everybody wants mm-hmm. from most normal anime, anime yeah. most animes in classrooms. And this is a typical classroom and it's amazing. For short people. <laughs> well, it's a classroom, it's for kids. Yeah, uh, but I would not be able to do a cosplay there. I would not even fit. Oh, I barely fit anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Thing is that it's amazing because you can just go in there and have a very nice classroom photo mm. for your fandom that is from a slice of life anime of teenage people. Green board. It also had uh, teachers on the other side, the teacher's desk with another green board. Yes, they have some school books, yeah, books, maps. All the things, yes. Fifth one with just beautiful furniture and brick wall. Yeah. Why not? Do you know why? No. Because for you vampiric just, stuff, maybe? Uh, it's for medieval-ish mm, stuff. Mm. You just need a brick wall and a nice furniture to just to sit on. It's just the, You just sit on the nice chair, you have this background, it's pretty, it looks nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't need much more than that. We, we also have many photos. Look, with a proper light, this would be awesome. Yes. I but mean, you need good lights. That's what we do in uh, in the West, and we also with medieval costumes. We also just try find to find walls. A brick wall, yeah. So yeah, here it is. Here is a brick wall. <laughs> Sixth one. Ah, oh, the Japanese room. Japanese. Or what we call the Japanese room. At least these are not official titles. This is what we call. Yes, them. we call. I think they call it like the kimono room. I I'm don't not remember. Sure. They had some signs in every room. Yeah, but it, it's a pretty room full of kimonos and fans yeah. and stuff. It's Aesthetics. full of. Aesthetics. It's full of traditional Japanese stuff. Yeah, kimonos, umbrellas, paintings. Yes. Uh, this is uh, they put in the windows. I don't like it. know why they're here. Anyway. Yes, all that stuff. Just, of course, you have to. Yeah, not rearrange. Have shoes. You rearrange them as you want, of course. Yes. Ah, you d- you must not take them from the room, but you uh, cannot. You can rearrange them. Yeah, yes. you can put them all aside. They just shoot with them as you want. Yes, that's possible. And it's look at the colors. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. They just put everything there. Seventh. The princess aesthetic, I guess. The, yeah, the, 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 the pastel I, princess the pastel look. Princess, yes. They also have dresses. I mean, this is mm-hmm. okay. This is nice. Um, this is one of the rooms that you understand that you need these studios. Mm-hmm. This is when you understand that you need these studios because this room, yeah, you cannot just have a room like that. You cannot create a room like that. Mm-mm. And this creates one of the best backgrounds and one of the best sets for many anime, for many, not, not anime, not only anime, but basically every fandom. Yeah. Movies. Yeah. Everything that has a cute thing. Yes. Not only. Yeah, Eighth. Uh, this was across the room, in the same room, across the other one. I, I call this the white room. I don't know. Wh- uh, it's it's an aesthetic room. Yeah. yeah. If you have a vibrant color cosplay, it will look really good in this white room. Uh, I think that it's mostly for pastel colored costumes, so that you can blend in. I think that's the aesthetic they want. Maybe. Maybe. And I also tell you as a photographer, a bright color cosplay will pop out from this. It will look amazing. Probably. It looks very. Rustic yeah, like boards and everywhere, yeah. Yeah, like village stuff, like and some fake, uh, though, fake fireplace. I think it's like cottage core stuff. Cottage core. Yes, cottage core stuff, because cottage core, uh, it's the Mori girl style that they have there. Uh, it's uh, very popular lately. But cottages are not white; they're brown. No, but if you have pastel colors on your outfit, it looks nice. Oh, this is again for me. Even better instructions. So you want to take a photo like this? You can do it with just one light. And they tell you the color you can put on your flash. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, you want to do a shot like this. This was shot with a light here. You can understand this. Let me give you some hints from the light on her face. You understand yeah. that there is a color here, a light here, sorry. And you can put a light, a soft light with a soft box here. So this for this very orange uh, yeah. light that makes no shadows. Here it has even more instructions, you know, this is this text about what to do exactly. And if you want to make like a soft, very soft look, they tell you use two soft boxes. No shadows, no anything. Extremely soft light. Um, what else? That's the this, white one. This is a very hard look. Just one light and a reflector. And this two lights, a soft one from here, a hard one from here. And they tell you also how to set them up. I don't know where the barcodes take you. We did not scan them. Even more instructions for other portraits. More hard light portraits. The most impressive was this one. Mm. That they said they had a very huge light reflecting from behind. So that you cannot see the light in the photo. I would put the light behind, I would just erase it in Photoshop. But anyway, this is the way if you're lazy in Photoshop and you want to do everything photographically. I, I'm a Photoshop person, I'm I, sorry. I don't think they... I think they they say the instructions... For people who don't do for Photoshop. For people who, who do not just... They do not do or photography. Or this one, you know, the heaven door. Editing. You put two lights, so they both reflect. And it's a uniform reflection light from behind. Here they also have a photo, two flashlights. Uh, they give you ideas. I mean, that's great for people, as I said, who are not into photography a lot. They give you so many ideas so that you can rent stuff and you can do all that. Corner of a room. <laughs> this is Emma being <laughs> a good here. Yeah, this is just a box. <laughs> yeah, but it's a box with great, you see. I, read the, I don't know how to say this in English. Irrevision. Uh, it's like, it, it's sparkly. Yeah, sparkly. Sp sparkly. I have books. no idea what kind of costume you could do there. Maybe something from, I don't know. I actually have no idea. Yeah, maybe some the items photo will or something. Like yeah, you, you, maybe you would use some bokeh. I don't know, maybe. I think it's two corners, I think. Oh. Yeah, one corner is the, this that one, one. The autumn, yes. The autumn boxes. Also cottage core style. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, other corner is the pub one. Amazing for pinups. Yeah, amazing for pinups. We did one with Eva's clothes. The other one is just very nicely aesthetic, like mm. autumn style. The Chinese room, we call it. This is with some cosplayers that were taking photos. And this is without. Yeah, look at that. Uh, the furniture with decorations and all, basically the decorations just just marvel on the decorations how would you even have all these decorations just for one studio they have yeah, everything nice. and they have the lights lantern light uh. you can even use the, that natural light they have there just just use it there one of my favorite rooms if not my favorite the study <laughs> i call it the alchemist room yeah that uh, it's it's beautiful vintage uh, furniture and maps and and vials with liquids mm. and we uh, took the best photos in this room of Sucrose. Yeah, libra and library uh, and they got the small stuff here and there that you can use for small portraits and it's amazing because you can do so much stuff and the carpet and the wood and, and the lights so and nice light. soft lights. All the, this is working light, this is working light, yeah, this everything, is work, everything is working light when we use it mm -hmm. in our suit. Okay, so you might want to say something about the props. Yes, they had a few props in a corner for every possible prop you might need in every possible setting, in every okay, possible okay. shoot. Every, every, anyway, yeah, it, lo it seemed like every when you look at it. I mean, look at that. They yeah, have, let's look it a little bit. They have cooking stuff. Mm -hmm. Here, this omelet. is fake food. Omelette. This is fake plastic food. Toast, burger, um, uh, tofu. Because if you want to have something like a cooking, anime, fandom mm. cosplay. Yeah, fake food. Fake food! Sweets, uh, rice, curry rice. Uh, now that one piece is very trending, mm. okay? You can mm. have sanji and you can take the food and just mm. serve it. it it's you have it. Fake swords. Fake swords. This is a, ah, this in particular is an Attack on Titan sword, 
and they had they had other props too. They have weapons that you can use. You don't need to have your own props. You don't need to do anything. Okay, at least a very special weapon. Yeah. From very anonymous. Eh? Porcelain. More food. Food, yeah, and desserts and uh, food. Bread. Yes, yes. They had all that food, plastic food. Mm-hmm. Uh, gamer, controllers. Yeah, controllers, because you might need controllers, but you might want to do, for example, uh, a gamer, boy, girl, whatever. Books, more books and more books. Yeah, but you see they have books that have nice uh, leather bound, yes. so that they look good in the photos. Vintage. Yeah. Uh, they Halloween? also have the, uh, yeah, pumpkin for Halloween, uh, Halloween uh, Stuff? theme. And this, uh, the, they have plates and cups and porcelain cups and from plastic yeah but they look so pretty <laughs> yeah they look like porcelain that's, that's <laughs> and they also got, they they also got other stuff i don't think the the photo is yeah we have yeah, they're the whole bottles but, to be honest there were more corners i think we have another photo because there were many sets corners with different prop seats this is just one of them this has only foods books and gaming stuff basketballs yeah anime, balls volleyballs Okay, let's move uh, on. Lamps. They had extra lamps, extra mm-hmm. bottles, extra everything. Also one of my favorite. I rooms. call this the romantic room. It's an amazing room. This is beautiful. I love this room. Mm-hmm. I loved it. You know I loved it. Uh, this is the absolute aesthetic stuff. You, you want to do stuff in this room. You want to search those papers, you want to take the candles, you want to sit on the desk and on the chair, it's amazing. And that's the thing, it's good for vampire suits. Uh, great for vampire suits. Great for any gothic slash uh, vintage something something room. Also medieval, you can also do medieval stuff. I think this is the same from, yeah, with wide angle, so Here. you can see how it is from uh, away. Mm-hmm. What is this? Yeah, that's co- that corner is for, yeah, vampires and undead stuff. You want to cosplay Dracula? You can sleep in there. There. Yeah. I mean, why not? Why not? And now again, yeah, we love this room. I took a lot I of know. photos. 15th uh, corner. Another beautiful room. Another uh, palace couch stuff. Yes, this is for that royal aesthetic. Uh, beautiful curtains, beautiful wall, mm-hmm. beautiful stuff. The, 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 what, what is this stuff? Christmas stuff hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, it's fine. decorations. It's beautiful. This is great for bokeh. When you do bokeh with that, they ah, look amazing on the background. Yes, like, you're yeah. right. So let me tell you a fun fact. You see this tripod here? This was a cosplayer who, who she, she was dressed as a he character. She was, uh, she was sitting here on the corner and taking with a mobile phone. So I guess this was the <clears throat> what was in the frame. So, yeah, she was doing that. Taking photo, self-timing, checking the photo, setting again, going back and forth, the life of a, the lonely cosplayer. Yeah, it was um, it was very, it was very weird to watch. Mm. It takes a long time. And, and lots that's of how patience. Huh? Lots of patience. That. And that's, may- maybe that's why you need so many hours. <laughs> yeah, another royal palace balcony. setting. Balcony. Yeah. yeah, this is a royal balcony. Which you is, take photos from... Yeah below and this looks amazing like you are in the balcony palace like you know you're making a speech or something interior interior balcony Mm. the throne now that is an odd one i think this is for very particular for very particular type of portrait yeah we make a king a queen a prince a princess you have a throne you have a throne uh the light is from above because if you see that it's a uh, yeah yeah it's it it has a the ceiling is very high above the the throne so you you have very soft light from above if you complement you can put a light on the side uh, yes here or here you can have very good lighting for a portrait yeah this is good. So oh. right across the throne, opposite, was the church room. Or what they imagine as a church, I guess. Here uh, it is. It, it pretty much looks like a church. And like a Romanesque church with marble altar. Uh, this is not happening in Still the way. Still a church. Okay. It looks fine. It looks fine. 
It's great because many fantasy anime are like uh, need vampire this. anime also. Vampire anime uh, and yeah, old fantasy anime you say. Fantasy anime, yes. This goes to the left of the throne. Yes. Alice in Wonderland room. Again, a- again. Look at all that stuff that's going on here. You can sit on every corner and have mm-hmm. a portrait and it will be so different mm-hmm. and so amazing at the same time. You have your mad tea you, party, you tea have part. the uh, cards, the queen of hearts, sorry. Uh, you, this decoration, this beautiful decoration with cards and the leaves and stuff. Yeah, the huge clock too. Oh, that's all I have. Uh, they also have, uh, you cannot see it here, but there was also a tornado of cards, so you could have these weird fantasy portraits that you were sucked in the tornado. I don't even it. remember that. I remember it because uh, there was a cosplayer that, that took portraits. Oh, that's why I didn't take photos, yeah. so that they don't feel that we are stalking them or something. Yeah, yeah, this was called the Fashion Room by them. The I fashion remember room. that, yeah, because it has the center stage, it has here the the fashion doll, how do you call this in fashion? The it's a sewing doll. Sewing, sewing mannequin. Bust, a mannequin. Sewing okay. mannequin, or bust, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's um, very modern, mm-hmm. but nice like Minimal aesthetics, black and white. Contemporary. The Victorian Gothic room. Baroque, I guess, yeah, with all this stuff. Yeah, perfect with Gothic Lolita style. Yeah. Uh, I think there was one shooting when we got there. Yes, the Lolita. yes, indeed. Very nice, very nice. Uh, one of my favorites. Yes. The, I don't know, I call it the scientist library room or something. I Edward think it's just the it. officer room yeah. or something, yeah. Wooden stuff, books here, chessboard. I love this room. It's a, it's nice. Oh, more props. Stuff done away. Yeah. I love it. Another them. prop corner. Gifts. Uh, this was only stuffed animals. So yeah, you would take photos for other rooms, like for for example, for the princess, uh, the, mm-hmm. the little princess room, or a romantic room. Or let me say again them. that these are free. Yeah. You don't pay extra for these props. You just pick them up and you just leave them back when you're done. It's all in the price. I call this the biohazard room, or the you know the criminal. Or the alley room yeah, or the, alley the room. storehouse because it also looks like a storehouse behind with perfect urban portraits here. Mm-hmm. Perfect. The hard one. Yeah. I'm very happy with the photos we took in this one. Um, here we are from the future, intersecting the video to add a couple of rooms that we forgot in the previous recording. That's on me. So this is the iridescent kiln, cylinder room, I think. Yeah, it's got a light on the top, it's polygonal, it has a very beautiful effect. And it's like a video clip like for Hatsune Miku or something. Yeah, Hatsune Miku would be great here. Uh, let me also add for photographers, there was no space to put extra lights. It is very, it's small, very small, but these walls are so bright that you don't know if you need them. Very reflective, very nice. This is the one photo that we took. And next, my favorite by far. The Steampunk Corner. It was not a corner, it was like a set. It had this one, yes. the, the wall with the cogs. It had a door that it we did not take photo. And some rails and... And the, an engine. Yes. So this is the cogs and this is the engine. Yes, yes. And it looks so pretty. It looks amazing. Uh, so realistic. So yeah. uh, rusty. It looks rusty and mm-hmm. it's so, so well painted. Yeah, yeah, really well painted. If you go, like, you cut this, it's just cardboard, plastic, stuff like that. Yeah, they just painted stuff, but it's very well painted. It's yeah. very it's very good. I mean, we've gone to industrial factories that look kind of like this when they're destroyed. Mm-hmm. And yeah, accurate. Really good for, I don't know, yeah, of course, steampunk photos, industrial photos, yes. post-apocalyptic photos. Really, really, really good. And Eva's favorite room. One of the favorite rooms, yes. One of my favorite rooms is the stage room. The music stage. Yes, yeah. music stage room. Uh, it's a music stage. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that explains everything. But here's the cuts. They have uh, the whole equipment. 
that you might need mm -hmm. for a video clip, for a photo, for photo shooting, uh, with the, your whole band. Yeah, yeah. You if can you have want a to whole band. Make like music anime shoot, like uh, K on, I think it was called, or the similar. Yes. Or this Nana or uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you can do all that. They have <coughs> actual equipment. I mean, this guitar yeah. is a real guitar. It had, I think, around eight or ten guitars. I think. Yep, all of them were real guitars. And no, drum set. A drum set. Basses. They had keyboards. They had bass, basses. Uh, they had. Uh, uh, what are the, the microphones? I, mm -hmm. uh, and Not they, just one microphone, yes. like three or four different and kinds. And they also had uh, woofers and uh, yeah, am amplifiers. You could set up like a real a concert real with your yes. whole band there, as many people. The lights were beautiful and it's set up so beautifully. Uh, and it's quite big. Yeah, it's all those big. lights are also controllable, as you can see in the beginning, we had them turned off. Here, the first photo. Yes. On, and then we turn them on. So you can adjust the lights as you, you wish. You can adjust everything. But th this is what I, I I really want to emphasize that a whole band mm -hmm. can get up there mm -hmm. and their fans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's patience. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't show, but it's, it is patience. You can do a real nice group photo. Real nice group photo here. Mm -hmm. And this is all the rooms we have. There were, um, there I think, were three rooms. or four more rooms uh, that we did not take photos because there were cosplayers shooting there, like the graffiti corner, the post-apocalyptic corner. Three floors of all these small studios. What more can you ask for this hobby? I this is know. this is how this hobby has an industry because you actually take care of the cosplayers. You say, "Come here, you pay a fee." You have your photos. Conditions nice. apply. Very nice, very nice. If you leave out the horrible experience we got with the address in the beginning in order to get approved and get these very beautiful cards. This one. Wait, yeah. Stack a card. And behind it writes her name, surname in Latin and Katakana. It's an interesting card. It's a membership card. And you, you can choose one of the six designs. Always in Japan, this always. is always the case. Uh, yeah. But but the thing is that you had to have a membership card. You cannot go inside the studio without a membership card. Yeah, yeah. The first time you go, you have to register, get a card, and after then you only go with a card. And I guess that's why they yeah. needed a dress, because if you have a membership anywhere, for any reason. You need to have the address of someone. It's it's the bureaucratic stuff they have. Other than that, tell us about your experience with the cosplay set. Would you recommend it? Would you not recommend it? Do you have a good time? Do you think you need more hours, less hours, something to change? I think that if you if you know what you're gonna shoot, mm -hmm. okay, you have one or two costumes, okay, and you you have those costumes and you know that you are going to take a few portraits and you're going to take maybe a few action shots. Five hours is more than you need. You, you need that. I think three hours is enough. And the choices of st studios are a game changer. You, why? Because if it's you. It's, if another person is using the studio, you can always go to another one that is very close to that. They have many rooms that look alike. And they have a, a very similar aesthetic. And because they tell you how to shoot a very nice portrait, a very nice photo, you can do it by yourself, you can do it with a friend, you can do it however you want. Okay. If you haven't done this, if you haven't, you, you don't know how good this was for me. For me, uh, as a person, mm -hmm. as a cosplayer, mm -hmm. this is a game changer in the hobby. You wish it existed here too. I wish it existed everywhere in the world because this helps you have your hobby in a very nice private manner. Private. Private, yes, but also do the photos that you want. But how you have, imagine? Have your vision uh, out there, and it's it's a very good business model. I loved this thing. It's amazing. It's 
I recommend any cosplayer that goes to Japan to go there. And yeah, and uh, you will have a little trouble with registering. Yeah, okay, that, that is understandable, I guess, and it depends on how experienced uh, the uh, receptionist is, because, you know... Uh, well, they were two girls, like twenty years old. Yeah, they like were that. young. I mean, it, and they were a... in cosplay, made cosplay thing. Yeah, remember. and maybe they were not managerial positions. I mean, they wouldn't know what Who to knows? do if Who anything knows? happened. So it's understandable that they would just wouldn't know what to do, and they would need proof of various things. Yeah, uh, but what is the worst thing that can happen? Okay, let's say I don't have a permanent address, so I will get this card. What is the worst thing I can do with getting this card without an address? I mean, I don't know, maybe there's some weird Japanese law, or I don't know, it felt a bit weird to me, this whole it's, situation. It's how they do things, apparently they just want to know how they will find you, if there were things, I don't know, Okay. if you damage things, maybe, or if there is a complaint for you, a complaint. So they will come find me in Greece, it was much easier to find me in my hotel. True. Anyway, before we close this video... I'm going to talk a little bit about the rules of this place regarding sexy cosplay because it had very, very strict rules. Like you cannot have underwear showing, you cannot have swimsuits. You have, if you have swimsuits, I think it said that you have to have an underwear under the swimsuits. You cannot, I think, if I remember well, you could not expose flesh. I mean, everything you can find, everything in their website. I think I will try to find the website again and link it in the description. Mm -hmm. Very strict rules about sexiness, about feeling the, about making the other person feeling unease with your sexiness. Um, I found this a bit weird. I, I expected Japan to have more relaxed things in sexiness, but it's re less relaxed, much less relaxed. So you could only do like a bit more sexy in group. When you in the group cosplay days, with the because it's uh, only for the group, and I think the idea is that you're all like-minded from the same anime, so you're expected to do a sexy character from that anime, so everyone will know and they will not feel unease. I just found this a bit weird, and I wanted to mention it just in case some Western cosplayer wants to go there and flash your... I think the yeah. idea is that the age that uh, people can go inside the studio is a bit young. Yes, you're right. I think it was 14 plus, something like 13 that. 13 plus, I think. Yeah, so. If I remember. And uh, that means that, you know, because there, are minor, there could be minors around, you would have to be careful. They were very specific. They mm. did not forbid you from doing the sexy costume cosplay stuff. However, they were very specific on how you could do that. The last thing I want to say is that there is no pressure. You you have a time limit, the five hour limit. And if you, you book the five hours, yes. you might have booked the whole day. Again, you have no pressure. Yeah, no pressure at all. Nobody's there to just tell you about stuff and what to do, what not to do, how you do it. No, no. You're just there alone and quiet, in peace and quiet and you do your uh, portraits and it's... I, I don't know. I haven't felt so relaxed yeah, while in seemed, a photo you shoot. very happy. And it was also your birthday, very cool. It was also my birthday. Uh, I, I haven't done a photo shoot like that before. And we have done a lot of photoshoots together, so that says something. So, to sum it up, totally recommend it. Don't bring your very sexy stuff or you will be kicked out. Yeah. Have fun, enjoy responsible, have a proof of your permanent address. And that's all. <sighs> a proof of permanent address. Bye. Till the next video. If you all liked it, like, subscribe, retweet, react, whatever. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Bye.